Land Degradation in the Australian Landscape, an inquiry into land degradation and pasture management on broadacre livestock farming enterprises. Land degradation is one of Australia's largest agricultural-based environmental issues today, with agricultural land taking up 60% of the continent. In particular, extensive livestock grazing uses the largest amount of agricultural land, consuming 80-80% of available landscapes. It is also one of the main causes of land degradation in Australia. Land degradation caused by incorrect pasture management and livestock management often leads to minimised ground cover, erosion, soil degradation, altered water flow regimes and increased salinity, which in turn leads to a loss of plant diversity and therefore has a massive impact on water retention. This lack of water retention is one of the largest reasons of our continually drying continent, a massive environmental issue that needs to be turned around as soon as possible to ensure a future for all involved ecosystems. Due to holistic grazing management practices being a relatively new idea, many organisations and farmers have only just started releasing research journals and inquiries into the methods associated with pasture management and livestock impact. However, the fact that drought and land degradation are such prominent environmental issues in Australia, information on how to combat these problems is rather easy to find. The idea now is to link the two mentioned issues together and come up with solutions that begin to solve both problems with maximum effectiveness in an environmentally sustainable way that guarantees a future for our water retention goals. The Australian Government provides many factual and educational resources on the topic of land degradation and slowly papers are being released by the meat and grazing industry on results and development of real-time trials that are helping reverse the effects of land degradation and water loss. Producers involved with the meat and livestock industry seem resistant at first to change their practices, but once results on the land are seen, they are deciding to join the challenge instead of resist it. Meat and Livestock Australia describe water as the key to successful agriculture and also to the health of all involved ecosystems. Research shows that there has been a notable rise in the number of livestock producers becoming aware of the detrimental impact that overgrazing and incorrect pasture management has on their land. Many of these farmers are now keen to begin a more sustainable production enterprise to help maintain and protect the environment that they are involved with. The Australian Government is helping make this transition for farmers a lot easier by providing a number of resources to producers and graziers to assist in monitoring agricultural conditions such as pasture cover, nutrient availability and meteorological conditions. With such information at their fingertips, farmers are finding effective and efficient ways to reduce erosion, leading to higher water retention levels and therefore beginning to turn around the current water loss situation that so affects our continent. While awareness of pasture management and the link to overgrazing and the drying landscape have been embraced, it is important to take into consideration that there is by no means a quick fix to this long-standing issue. Correct reforestation and rejuvenation of landscapes is a time-consuming process that requires much knowledge and understanding of the attributes of each individual landscape. The flora replanted and established must be able to support a healthy soil ecosystem for maximum results. As many more farmers and producers are jumping on board, more information and research articles will become available on current restoration trial results within the nation's agricultural sector. In order to complete this inquiry, more research will be undertaken in relation to these trials and the promise they hold for Australia's water loss problems. Environment plays a large role in the Australian curriculum and also in the learning and development of the children involved with the education system. With agriculture being one of Australia's largest industries and so immediately related to one of the main environmental issues the continent faces,